This is question 5 from the AQA Mechanics 1B January 2013 um, exam paper. This question is about momentum and the conservation of momentum. We've got two part particles A and B and they are um, heading um, towards each other along the same straight horizontal line when they collide. Particle A has a mass of 5 kilograms and particle B has a mass of 4 kilograms. A has a speed of 4 meters per second and B has a speed of 3 meters per second and we know that they're heading towards each other. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this scenario up as an initial condition. So I'm going to have the two particles and they're going to be heading towards each other. Okay, um, so this is particle A and this is particle B and A has got a mass of 5 kilograms and B has got a mass of 4 kilograms A has a speed of 4 meters per second and B has a speed of 3 meters per second Okay what then happens is there's a collision and the speed of A is um, after the collision the speed of A is 0 0.6 meters per second um, and they carry on moving along the same straight horizontal line um, what information we don't know is which direction they're going to be moving in after the collision because we're just told the speed so um, there are going to be two different scenari scenarios here so I'm going to mark um, this here as our before and then we're going to have an after scenario and I'll call that after and we'll call that scenario 1 and then we're going to have another after scenario and I'll call that after 2 ok so in this scenario we're going to have um, we're going to assume that A is going to be moving in the same direction it started and we're going to assume that B has now gone to the positive direction it doesn't matter if I've got that wrong because um, if I have got it wrong when I work out my answer at the end I'll get a negative and I'll, I'll know that it should have gone in that direction so um, that's going to stay as 5, that's going to stay as 4 and this is going to now be 0 0.6 meters per second and this here is going to be v meters per second and unknown velocity the other possibility would have been this here them both going away from each other um, and again what we're going to have is a 5 here a 4 here that's going to be v meters per second and this time our speed is going to be in the other direction ok so we've now got two possible cases so there's going to be two possible speeds for v in both of these cases ok so um, What I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the um, momentum for case one. So if I just grab all this. Okay, so uh, case one 
we'll have our total momentum before is going to be equal to the total momentum afterwards which is our principle of conservation of momentum so our total momentum before well we have got um, 5 times 4 which is 20 and the momentum of this is going to be negative 12 so the total momentum is going to be 20 take away 12 and that's got to be equal to the total momentum afterwards and in case 1 the total momentum afterwards uh, we've got 5 times 0 0.6 which is going to be 3 um, and then I've got plus uh, this is going in the positive direction plus 4v so that means that um, 8 is equal to 3 plus 4v so 4v is equal to 5 and v is equal to 1.25 meters per second okay so that's case one um, okay so I'm now going to look at the second case um, so over here we'll have a different color so we'll have case and in case two we're going to be looking at this scenario here and <coughs> we've got the total momentum before again and we worked that out earlier to be eight and the total momentum afterwards this time is going to be well I've got five times negative six which is negative three plus four V um, so that means 4v is going to be equal to 11 and v is going to be equal to 2.75 meters per second okay, here. so our two possible speeds of v after the collision are going to be um, 1.25 meters per second or 2.75 meters per second Okay, thanks very much.